The first migration museum in the United Kingdom has opened in London just weeks before the general election. The aim is to encourage visitors to see the world through other people's eyes. There's a need for other places for people to have these conversations, not just in politics, not just in the media, uh, where these issues are sometimes dealt with in, in sound bites. But these are complicated issues, and I think another forum, and particularly a cultural forum, which encourages people to see the world through other people's eyes, would be a good place for people to interrogate how they feel about migration. London has always been an international city, and as huge numbers of migrants have surged into Europe in the midst of an international refugee crisis, it's become even more diverse. But attitudes towards newcomers have not always been positive. I think we should welcome refugees, but we should also welcome people who want to work here. We need the labour. Uh, a lot of our uh, public services would come to a halt. Our health service could hardly function without people from other countries. So we should welcome them instead of being negative about them. The UK's decision to leave the European Union was based in part on voters' fear about migrants, especially after the government released a report that stated that more than 300,000 people had immigrated to the UK in 2015. I think the referendum campaign was very negative and it, it was hostile to immigration. It made us a nasty little inward-looking inward country. I hope we're going to get better than that. I had the feeling before the referendum things were being more positive and the referendum rather set the clock back. The new museum is dedicated to highlighting the experiences of immigrants, shining a spotlight on how migration has shaped Britain throughout the centuries. But the idea was to emphasise to everyone, I suppose, that we're all immigrants really, it just depends how far back you go. And by scratching the surface of history, you just find the many, many people who've come to these shores and left them. Migration is a tidal flow to and from, and it's just part of the natural order of the world. The Migration Museum is not the first attempt to focus on immigrant stories. London already has a museum of migration and diversity, and in 2016, a show called London Stories told the tales of people who made new lives in the city. But the museum could be the most ambitious of projects, as its permanent presence promises to be a home for the many narratives of people forging new lives in Europe's most diverse city.